Welcome, I am the Kajino Kami, and I thought I'd just do just a little breakdown about the shows I watched this past season and give my overall thoughts on them. Eh, just try something new in a video, see if it piques an interest for people. So let's take a look. Well, first let me put this guy here. I have my little list here of the shows I watched because I probably would forget one if I didn't. So let's start out with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s fourth season was kind of rough. It started out really strong and it was great because the third season was such a vast disappointment that this new season was impressive. Ghost Rider was pretty badass as were the effects they did with him. Unfortunately, the second arc, everything went downhill as the second arc was just boring and a snooze fest. And thankfully, despite the last arc being maybe an episode or two too long, came out pretty solid to give us some great ideas and some interesting concepts. So, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4 was decent, but not great. Arrow was a vast improvement over the last two seasons. Arrow impressed me. There were still a lot of kind of bad episodes. Felicity needs to go because she is the worst part of the show. But overall, I did enjoy this season. I enjoyed the mythology. The flashbacks were really good this year, and they actually felt like they correlated with the story of the season. So that was nice. So overall, I really liked Arrow a lot. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I'd say I probably gave a 5 out of 10, maybe a 6. Arrow, I'd actually probably give um 7. Supergirl, I don't know what happened this season, but... Supergirl was a disaster. I loved the first season. It started out kind of weak, but got strong. This season started out really strong, gave us a really great Superman that's way better than the movies have had, and then they just, they dropped the ball. I don't know what really happened. It just became boring to watch, generic. Sometimes it felt like I was forcing myself to watch it because it was just awful. Uh, they clearly ran out of ideas of what to do with Jimmy, the villains were kind of lame and boring. The plots just didn't make sense. There was a subplot that was dealing with Martian Manhunter getting uh, white Martian blood in his system that was kind of killing him. They solved that off screen in one episode. It comes back from commercial and he's just like, yeah, your mother cured me. Oh, cool. That would have been nice to actually know, um, I don't know, in the episode, not rushing it. Legends of Tomorrow. Oh. The sad thing is Legends of Tomorrow was not the worst show I watched on TV th this season. It is. It was pretty bad. Season 1 was pretty bad too. Season 2 had some good episodes. There was an episode in Japan that was entertaining. There were episodes... There was an episode with the Legion of Doom that focused on the villains more than anyone else. That was kind of entertaining. And there was a moment where Damien Dark makes a comment like... Is starting to talk, and then somebody, I can't remember if it was Dark himself or Malcolm, said, why did you have to do the supervillain monologue? Because now they got away because of that. That was pretty funny. Flash. I loved Flash Season 1. I really liked Season 2. Well, I kind of still loved Season 2. There were a lot of things I loved about Season 2, despite it making some fumbles. wasn't as good as Season 1, but it was still great. Season 3, I feel like the writers took a vacation. It was awful. They screwed up Mirror Master. They screwed up the shade. I did not like the way they did things. It was predictable on who, um, what alchemy was. That was predictable. It was predictable on who freaking Savitar was. I can't even think of their names now. That was kind of just, I think that season has been kind of wiped from my mind. It was awful. It's like there were still solid episodes. It still had great moments. I'm not ready to write the show off because of one bad season, but this season took a major dip in quality, and I didn't think that was going to be possible. I feel like the writers are just stretched way too thin across the board for these seasons. Four shows, and with Black Lightning, that's five for DC. I don't know. I'm hoping that they listen to the complaints with season three and make season four better, but we'll see. I will say, though, Invasion, that three-parter, was hands down, well, they say four-parter, but Supergirl was bare. The Supergirl episode had nothing to do with Invasion, so three-parter was quite good. It's what the movie should be. Doctor Who this season. Doctor Who this season was kind of weird, because it's Capaldi's last season, 
which is disappointing because I really enjoy Capaldi, but he has not been given the writing that that man deserves for his shows. Such a disappointment. The, my favorite episode of the season is one called Knock Knock, which was about this really, like, wooden haunted house that was, well, wooden creatures. That was awesome. That was a great episode. The season started out strong, then kind of got weak in the middle, especially with the third part to the Monks trilogy. And thankfully, the season finale two-parter was pretty good. The Master and Missy was awesome. Uh-oh. I hope that wasn't a spoiler. Crap. Um, watching those two characters play off another was great. And the villains, it was interesting to see the villains in the end. The Simpsons, 28 seasons, season 28, meh. at this point, it's The Simpsons. It was average. I didn't hate it, but I can't really tell you much of what stood out to me for the season. Some of it was terrible. Some of it was okay. There were some good jokes, but nothing I can really remember off the top of my head right now, which means it probably really wasn't that great. But compared to seasons past, it was fine. It was The Simpsons. Um, I Zombie. I Zombie this season was phenomenal. There was only one episode that was kind of like, eh, but the rest was great. This entire season was phenomenal. It, it was my second favorite show this season. I mean, obviously Game of Thrones just started, so that's not counted in this list. But I Zombie was incredible. Rose McIver is a talented actress and the way she pulled off some of the things this season, phenomenal. Clive in this season, great. Ravi, great. Poor Major. Poor, poor Major. That man, man, I feel like this show is always trying to screw him out of happiness. But yeah, this season, this season was solid. A lot of hilarious episodes. Although I do feel the two-part finale should have been a three-part finale, as it seemed like too much was crammed into two episodes. Oh yeah, I didn't score these other ones. So Supergirl, 5 out of 10. Legends, 4 out of 10. Flash, 5 out of 10. Doctor Who, 7 out of 10. Simpsons, eh, 6 out of 10. iZombie, 10 out of 10. Evil Dead Season 2. Evil Dead's come a long way since its first season. I mean, granted, it's that's only 20 episodes, but I wasn't a fan of the first few episodes of Season 1, but Season 2 killed it. Well, they killed a lot, but Season 2 was excellent. I laughed a lot. There were a couple of really disgusting moments. That butt moment that if you've seen the season, you might know what I'm talking about. Evil Dead, I'm going to give... A 9 out of 10. Great season. American Horror Story Roanoke. American Horror Story has, has its ups and downs. The first season, phenomenal. Second season, a bit convoluted with too much going on, but still great. Third season, started out great, fell apart. Fourth season, which was Freak Show, I couldn't even finish. The fifth season, Hotel, I thought was almost as... was actually just as good as season two although it could have been an episode or two less but it had great characters i loved lady gaga in it roanoke though Ugh. that was a season on a budget it's like their budget probably got it's i swear that their budget must have been cut off like 75 percent of it so they went with this found footage type crap and none of it worked it was boring it was just uninteresting I didn't care about what was going on, and then the second half was even worse. I thought that once they got through the whole like documentary type thing, it would get better. No, it got worse. This season went like... Oh man, it was awful. I'm going to give American Horror Story Roanoke a 1 out of 10. And then the best show of this season was Better Call Saul. I love that show. I love Breaking Bad, especially Gus in Breaking. Uh, Gus is my favorite character in Breaking Bad. Having him back this season was amazing. The plot lines are really starting to move on. And what I love about the show is it doesn't suffer from prequel itis, 
What I mean by that is that a lot of prequels feel like they exist solely to get the characters from point A to the point story. Better Call Saul, they're doing their own things with the characters. They're not letting Breaking Bad control how the characters react, how they move. They're doing it their own way. They're letting the characters be characters, and then they'll slowly take their way to where they need to be in Breaking Bad. That has been the best thing about this show. And it's why this show is hands down the best show of the season with a 10 out of 10 score. If you have not seen Better Call Saul, check it out. If you have not seen Breaking Bad, check that show out. That show is probably the greatest fall from grace story of a great man falling down to villainy. And it is also the best show about supervillains. And you, you don't need to watch Breaking Bad to enjoy Better Call Saul. But there are so many Easter eggs in Better Call Saul, especially this past season, that would enhance your enjoyment if you did see Breaking Bad. However, nevertheless, you must check out Better Call Saul. Season 4 comes out probably, I don't know, February, March, April next year. But definitely check it out. Each season is only 10 episodes, so it's not like it's that long. But it's well worth it. You won't be disappointed. And all I'll say about Game of Thrones is that the first season was phenomenal. And Anya, uh, Arya is one gangsta mother... Mm. Until next time. Well, actually, before that, what shows did you watch this season? Did you watch anything? Did you enjoy anything? What were your favorite shows? What did you hate? Let me know. Until next time, for real this time, bye.